has sprung. So I thought today it could be kind of fun to do a few little spring things to really get into the spirit of the season. I have a bunch of fun things planned, but before we get started, make sure you subscribe because I want to see you back here. Let's go. We got a new little item in the mail. It's just the little things in life at this age. We ordered a little bird feeder, birdhouse. It's both. And then with this, we also purchased a big bag of bird seed, of course. And we have yet to actually put this up somewhere, but we have been leaving little piles of that bird seed, bird food mix on our deck porch area. And we've been seeing quite a few birds actually coming and eating. So we're gonna go put this up. that is all done which is so exciting it is day one for me of the sephora spring sale i am just an insider i'm like borderline vib right now i don't think i will ever make it to rouge which is sad i was looking at the different membership levels and it says you have to spend a thousand dollars a year to be a rouge member and that's just like i i could never i could never so as an insider i only get a 10 percent discount which for me isn't that worth it but it was my birthday this month and i just want to take the points so in order to get the points through the app i do actually have to make a purchase so that's how we're justifying this today i only want a few things and the first thing is the chanel coco mademoiselle edp i smelled this in store months ago just when i'm starting to get into fragrance and i put it on my wish list and it was something i've just been intending to buy for a long time and just haven't yet i think i've just been putting off getting it because i've been more interested in warmer winter appropriate fragrances, like more gourmand scents. And now that it is getting to be spring, I feel like Coco Mademoiselle is a great spring fragrance. So it's just really good timing. Next, I've been wanting to get a mask that I can kind of use every once in a while when I feel like doing a self-care night. I don't really have a go-to mask that I really like. And this one really interested me. It's called the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Hydrating Mask. So we're gonna give that one a try. It looks like it's well-liked. Next, I wanna get just a mini size of the Super Goop Glow Screen. It's an SPF 40 PA++++. I'm gonna get the Sunrise shade, which is just kind of matches my skin tone. I haven't been super happy with the sunscreens I've currently been using and trying. So I'm really looking for a new one. And I feel like this one will be really good, especially for the summertime. Hopefully I will like the formulation under makeup as well. Now I have the opportunity to pick out two samples. There are two that are just jumping out at me. The first one is the Belief Moisturizing Balm True Cream. I've had this in my Sephora wish list for a while just because it's really interested me especially as like a potential winter moisturizer. So I'm really excited to try that. And then I'm also going to grab the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. I've heard really good things about this one and I've been looking for a new eye cream. So that is everything I need. I'm gonna apply my discount, check out, and then we'll keep going with our spring reset. I just drove to my local mall. I thought it might be fun to pop into Bath & Body Works to get some new spring candles. And I do still need to redeem my birthday reward, which I believe is a free body care item with any purchase. So that'll be nice to kind of treat myself. I'm thinking I'll probably end up doing a body mist. After this, I wanna stop at Target and get some fresh flowers to put in our kitchen. And then maybe somewhere in between, I will get a car wash because my car is probably due for one now with the winter kind of ending they're still crusted on salt and dirt but it's been raining the past few days and i feel like i'm just gonna drive through muddy water anyways so i'm kind of torn right now y'all that was a very successful trip i ended up getting three candles i had four in my basket at one point but then i was like this is unnecessary put one back but i got fresh sheets and this one smells so good like clean laundry and i just feel like sometimes i like my house to smell just clean like not a candle just clean then i got the white barn palo santo vanilla i don't know if i'm saying that right this one is like a muskier vanilla it kind of reminds me of the toasted marshmallow candle that they come out with in the winter i just love a musky vanilla any time of the year so couldn't resist this one and then the last candle i picked up is this coconut sandalwood I'm obsessed. I have been absolutely in love with the Tree Hut Tahitian vanilla bean scent. Like anything that smell, I've been all over. If that could be my signature scent, like if I could always smell like this, 
I would be very happy. I think it's the sandalwood I've been really, really vibing with, but this smells exactly like the Tree Hut Tahitian Vanilla Bean Scrub that I love. And speaking of that, normally when I go shopping, especially in places like that where there are salespeople walking around, I'm very independent. If somebody asks if I need help, I'm like, I'm good, thank you. I do my own thing, I get out of there. But today I was actually a little chattier for once and I let them kind of help me and walk me around and show me some of the different things. And I am so glad I did because the woman I was working with took me over to the aromatherapy section and let me smell this. This is that same amazing vanilla sandalwood scent that I am just in love with. I got the mist and I got the body cream. And I am so excited because I can pair both of these with my tree hut scrub and I'm gonna be smelling like I've always wanted to be smelling. I am so, so happy. I've been hunting for something that smells like that scrub and I found it. As the saleswoman was having me walk around the store, she also had me smell this and I grabbed it. This is the Coco Paradise body mist. It smells like coconut, vacation. Like I just, I smelled it, I loved it. But it's not like a tacky suntan lotion coconut scent. It has like a little bit of musk to it. It's beautiful. I'm gonna be wearing this in the summer for sure. This is literally a spring video and I'm buying things for summer, but this is what I thought that my little birthday gift was for, but it actually is for like a travel size item. The cashier informed me as I was checking out. Um, so I literally asked her if this smells good and she said it's amazing. So I'm hopeful and I think this would be really good to take on vacation too because I have a few coming up. And that's everything. I'm so excited. Never did I ever think I was going to be so happy with the things that I got. I'm going to run by Target, get some fresh flowers and some groceries because we're in need of some groceries. I'll probably pick up Hunter though. We just like to go grocery shopping together. As you can see, we are looking at a very full cart here, but we only go grocery shopping like once a month. So when we do go grocery shopping, we really stock up, hence the large purchase. But as soon as I got home, I wanted to get these flowers all prepped in in some water, of course, so I'm starting with that. Is anyone even surprised that I picked the pink bouquet? Cause I am not, I was drawn to it instantly and look at how beautiful she is. I just love having a fresh bouquet in the house. Now that those flowers are all set to go, I thought I'd give you some grocery inspo. I have some strawberry lemonade, some frozen pizza. These are our favorite, some yogurt and some berries for breakfast, some oat milk and iced coffee, popcorn, chicken, bacon, lettuce, some bread and and mayo for some BLTs I'm going to be making, some coconut shrimp, a sweet potato and quinoa, which I'll meal prep, some potatoes, some pasta, and some sauce, of course, two ramen just in case, green tea and some Easter candy that was on sale, some tortillas, some melatonin, some nail polish remover, some black beans, some taco shells, applesauce, some seasoning we're gonna try, cereal, a little latte set, a few sodas and these, which we're excited to try, and some Gatorade, because we're obsessed. I'm gonna put all of that away and then continue with my day. Here, by the way, I'm just kind of unpacking all of the beverages we bought so that I can put them away instead of just having them all sitting in their packaging somewhere in our apartment. So I'm taking them all out and putting them in this cabinet that we have some free space in, just making them look nice and organized and easy to grab when I need to restock the fridge. And the same goes for little snacks and things. I like to get these out of their packaging and throw away the packaging as soon as possible. After putting all of this stuff away, I was very, very hungry. So I decided to start making a little BLT sandwich using some of the new groceries we just picked up. And this was delicious. I thoroughly enjoyed and it was very easy. So if you like BLTs, try making one at home. So good, so easy, and it makes for great leftovers. The evening crept up pretty fast on me today, so I decided to slow it down a little bit and have a more relaxing night routine. I poured myself up a little drink and I hopped in the shower for a little coconut and vanilla sandalwood shower routine using some of my new products. To start, I'm using my Tree Hut Coco Colada Scrub on all of the areas I'm planning to shave. 
my legs, my armpits, just exfoliating those areas to prep. For the actual process of shaving, I'm going in with my Tree Hut Tahitian Vanilla Bean Shave Oil. I really love shave oils as opposed to creams lately. And then, of course, going in to shave using a cheap razor because I'm out of my refills. I'm going in with this body wash from Method and then an unscented soap by Dr. Bronner's on a baby washcloth. And then to prevent any razor burn or ingrowns using this Venus Serum, going over top with the body cream that I picked up today and the body mist from Bath & Body Works, that sandalwood and vanilla scent. I'm going to throw on my comfy, cozy Skims robe, hop in bed for the night, and then get into this book I've started recently. And that's going to complete my spring reset for the day. I really hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so, so much for being here. I hope you're doing so well right now. I will see you very soon. Please remember to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more content like this. And yeah, I will see you very soon.